Hello fellow teachers and instructors. Have you ever wanted to make a short animated GIF that you can put on your blog, website, send out an email, or somehow uh, distribute electronically? Something like this, it just keeps looping like that. Well, I'm gonna show you how to make this. It's pretty easy. You'll need two pieces of software. One of them will be Camtasia. This is available on Mac and PC. It works the same on both platforms. And then you'll need some software that works as a whiteboard. And I prefer OneNote because it's free and it's fairly easy to use. And again, it works on both Mac and PC pretty much the same way. We're gonna start in Camtasia here. Camtasia will let you record the entire screen. It also records audio as well if you're interested in making movies. However, for this, we're making a GIF. So this will, we, we're gonna record the entire screen and it has built-in microphone here, but we're gonna turn that off. No need to record audio. We are now recording and it is recording everything that we see right here. So I'm going to make this window a little bit bigger and let's demonstrate how long division works. All right, I'm using a black pen. I am going, oops, that's not what I wanted. There we go. All right, better. So I'm using a black pen this time and I'm going to make that like so. So now it looks like a real division problem. And in order to make what I'm doing uh, a little bit more obvious to students that are watching, I'm gonna use a red color or green or blue. We'll use red so that the student can see what we're writing is different from than what starts here. Also keep in mind, it is recording the cursor movement and that can be helpful when we want to draw their eye to a certain part of uh, the math problem. All right, so I'm planning on having the GIF begin right here, so I'm being nice and close. And then here I'm just gonna walk through it at a regular pace. Four goes into five once, four subtracts away, three comes down, four goes into 13 three times, that's 12 subtracts away, one, six comes down. So we have 16, four goes into 16 four times. 16, and we have no remainder, but then we bring down a seven, and four goes into seven once with a remainder of three. I'm keeping my cursor still for a second here, and then it'll loop back, it'll go back to the four, and we'll see it again. So we're done recording. So I'm gonna go up here and say, stop recording. We automatically go into Camtasia, and here we can see on the bottom, this is a timeline of everything that was recorded, and as you can see here, it's almost two minutes worth of what we recorded here but certainly the animated GIF is not gonna be that long. We're just gonna record, or I should say, we're gonna turn there from here to about the end into the final animated GIF. So I can, I can bring this up like so, reposition the timeline and Like so, okay, so, and I finish writing remainder three, and I hold it there for a second, like so. All right, so if I just play at normal speed, we're gonna take up a little bit here and back, okay. So play at normal speed, and it is also, you know, not terribly fast, right? This is, this is the rate at which I was writing. Our animated GIF is going to show things a little bit faster. Like, what if we could make this double speed or triple speed? That's what we're going to do with visual effects and this little control here called clip speed. Clip speed will either stretch out and give us slow motion or it allow us to compress this and make it much faster motion. So I am going to bring this way over here. Let's see, duration 
20 seconds. Let's, let's go for 15 seconds. Animated GIFs should not be too long to watch. So let's see. Much faster. Okay, in my opinion, a little too fast. So let's just kind of bring it out here to 20 seconds and use your own judgment on this. I think that's pretty good right there. Now then, we have this entire screen. We just want this part to be the graphic that'll end up in the animated GIF. GIF. So we use this tool here, the cropping tool. Bring down that like so. We bring this in from the left. And we bring this in from the right. And we bring this up from the bottom. And I'm going to scoot the playhead forward a little bit. And uh-oh, I cut off the three. So that's no good. Let's not cut off the three. There we are. And I think we have the actual portion that we want to be in the final GIF graphic. All right. So let's go up here and take a look at this large black rectangle. This is the entire canvas. This is a 720p by 1280. And that's way too big for the graphic. We just want this part. So I'm going to go here to Project Settings and see if I can change this to fit to the visible area and hit Apply. And it did that. So now it is exactly the same size as the white rectangle. OK, we're very close here to being done. Let's go up to Share. And this is where we're going to tell it to kick out a GIF and make a GIF for us. Local File. Now it can make movies, QuickTime, and then the third one here is animated GIF. Go into options. GIFs can get very large, and it's not great to have a multi-megabyte file that takes time to load up for the student to actually see. You can reduce the size by reducing frame rates. Uh, so 30 is very smooth animation. We don't really need that. 15 is pretty decent. And I think that maybe we can get away with 10. So I'm going to click on OK, and then we'll, we'll see what happens when we make this one. We'll call this div1, and then hit export. And great. So let's take a look. It ended up on the desktop. And here is our file. Now let's look at the size of this before we actually play it. 223, so this is 262 kilobytes. Super small. How does it look? Animation is a little bit choppy. The cursor is moving around a little bit faster than the frame rates allow you to see it. What do you say we change the frame rates? We'll make div2 and see if we can find a good compromise between frame rates and size. So this is kind of an iterative process. Here we go. We'll go up to Share, Local File, and make our adjustment in Options. Let's change this to about 25. I think that might be too big, but we'll see. And we'll name this Div2. Here is div2. Let's see the size of this one. 524 kilobytes, half of a meg. I don't think that's too bad. Let's see the frame rates. The cursor is much easier to see where it's moving because it moves kind of rapidly because we made it a little bit faster. But we can see all the steps pretty nicely. And then it automatically loops back. All right. Now, from here, you can take this file. You can email it out. You can put it on a blog. You can put it on Moodle. You can put it in whatever learning management system uh, course software that you might have. 
and it'll just loop and loop and loop and no need for any going to YouTube or going to uh, tell them to play a video. This sort of tells how to do it like a silent movie. And there you go.